And uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, new distributor training for uh, this Saturday morning, uh, December the 1st. And uh, my name is Fred Holmes. I'm an independent distributor with ZG International. Uh, excited to be the uh, trainer for this morning. Got a lot of things I want to share with you. And um, first thing I want to do is say good morning to, to those of you who are saying good morning to me. Uh, Mr. Dylan Atkinson, good to have you with us, sir, from uh, Salt Lake. Sharita, always a pleasure to have you with us. Michael, good to see you. Uh, Mr. Crane, oh, calling in from Washington at the, uh, at the Zija Mastery event. Very good, very good. Uh, let's see, I see a number of other people here. Welcome to the, uh, oh my goodness, I better be on my best behavior. I've got Amy McKenzie in this morning. Very exciting to see not just our new distributors joining us, but our, you know, seasoned professionals, you know, our emeralds and diamonds. Um, it's a little bit humbling to, uh, to see folks with this much tenure and success in the business joining, uh, joining us on a Saturday morning training. Uh, but I'm going to do my very, very best this morning. So uh, what I want to do is, first of all, I want to welcome all of you, in particular those of you that are brand new distributors. Uh, maybe you've just gotten started with us. Uh, you know, and occasionally we have people that really haven't made that decision yet to um, uh, get involved with the company. Uh, but you're maybe checking out, you know, what kind of support resources are available to you, um, trying to get a little bit better feel for who we are, ZG International as a company. Uh, I see Bruce uh, Barnes with us. Uh, I believe you just rank advanced to Builder 500, Bruce. Uh, uh, forgive me if I've, I've uh, 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 you know, underestimated how far you've gone, but uh, I believe I just saw that, and congratulations to you. Um, now, uh, for those of you that are, that are just getting started with us, uh, let me kind of frame up a little bit about what we do on Saturday morning. Saturday morning, uh, while the title is New Distributor Training, um, it is not what I would refer to as the new distributor training. I'm going to give you some suggestions on, on things that you can do now to kind of set yourself up for success in your new Zija business. Uh, I want to, uh, you know, I certainly want to encourage those of you that are maybe are just looking at the Zija business uh, to continue that process. Get a chance to know us. See, over the years, and it's now going on 30. I think probably 34 years now, coming up real quick. Uh, I started my, this path, this journey of mine in network marketing. I was a cross country truck driver uh, before getting involved in this profession. I uh, love driving trucks. I've done a lot of different things in my life, but driving trucks was the thing that really fit me the best. It's probably the only job I've ever, ever had in my life that I lasted more than a year at. I didn't fit in real well with the county. <laughs> a few of you know me pretty well can figure that one out, right? Uh, but uh, I love driving trucks. I, I made a good living, what I thought was a good living. And what happened was at, at a certain point in my life, uh, my circumstances changed. Uh, my younger, um, older son was uh, hitting school age. Uh, needed some specialized educational resources that the school district wasn't going to provide. And I had to make a decision. Was I going to fulfill on the promise of a parent to help my child, my son, become everything that he could possibly become? And to do so, I needed two things that truck driving wasn't going to offer me. I needed an exceptionally above average income. I needed to have the financial resources to provide for these you know, specialized educational uh, resources that my son was going to need. And I needed a second thing that truck driving didn't offer me, which was time freedom, flexibility in my day-to-day -day schedule to be with my son. And what I found was the only uh, vehicle out there, the only opportunity for a fellow like me with my background uh, was network marketing. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's hard to imagine there were not a lot of people offering me jobs, making a six figure income with a flexible work schedule. And so network marketing offered that opportunity not only to create, you know, substantial levels of income, but to do so in your own time, to be able to determine for yourself when you work, where you work, how you work, who you work with, um, the promises of network marketing were exactly what I was looking for at that time in my life. And I can tell you without question, 
this profession has fulfilled on all of those promises and many, many more that I was even unaware of at the time were going to become important to me and, and you know, as life went on. Uh, and I, I had a really good uh, uh, start in network marketing. And, and I kind of want to, you know, frame what we're doing this morning around this concept. When I joined my first network marketing company, uh, and this goes back to the mid 80s, uh, my very first sponsor was already a million dollar earner. And so I got to learn how to do this kind of business at a much higher level than most people ever get exposed to. And for those of you who are going, well, you know, uh, you know, my, my sister-in-law just sponsored me in disease. She's not a million dollar earner. Does that mean I'm not going to be able to be as successful as I desire? Of course, that's not what it means because what we have within ZG International is a very unique philosophy where the success of one creates success, the success of all. You have many, many people within ZG International, people, you know, and, and I'm certainly not, you know, making myself out to be the big deal, uh, but I've done extremely well. Uh, we've got people like myself. We've got, uh, you know, uh, Brand, uh, Brandon and Monica Cooper. We've got, uh, you know, Mike Crane, Amy McKenzie, David uh, Moses, uh, you know, Pat Anderson, Dee Dee Shaw. I mean, I could go on and on and on naming, uh, you know, a, a, a zillion top income earning distributors who are here with one single purpose, and that is to create success in others. And see, for some people, it sounds like, well, that's too good to be true. People that care more about others' success than they care about their own. Well, I'll have to tell you, there's a little bit of, you know, if you will, uh, enlightened self, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, self benefit to that, because this is one of those unique and rare opportunities where those that give to others, those that create success in others actually have the greatest level of success. That's not the way it is in, in most fields. You know, in most fields, if you help somebody that's new coming into your workplace, you know, they can become better than you and take your job. In network marketing, the person that creates success in others is truly the one that creates the greatest level of success for themselves. And so uh, that's what we're doing here today. And I want to share with you that um, the information, the guidance, the direction that I received in my very first company, being able to work directly with a million dollar earner, that's all been provided already for each one of you. And so I encourage you to start your journey, especially those of you that are just getting started. Start your journey and spend a few minutes with some of the, uh, some of that, the initial training uh, that I've done. I'm not the only person that does this. There's many leaders out there that have these kinds of resources available to you. I'm just sharing my resources with you. Uh, I'm going to type this into the chat box so you can get it. If, you, if, you, if you're on your phone, if you just tap the screen, it'll bring up the different prompts at the bottom. You'll see a place where you can chat. And I encourage you to, to make note of that because I'm going to be doing a, a question and answer session here um, at the bottom of the hour. But I'm going to give you an address www.youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. Uh, that's my YouTube channel. And on that YouTube channel, you will find uh, archived all of the, uh, uh, you know, webinar training presentations uh, that me and a number of our team members do. You know, the Thursday night biz talks presentation where you get a one of the leaders, uh, you know, including myself, will share a little bit about the income opportunity with Zija. We'll interview a distributor. Some of them are relatively new, getting you know good results. Some of them are seasoned professionals, sharing why Zija. Um, but uh, all of those are available there, including the Saturday morning trainings that we do on a weekly basis. You know, team meetings. Uh, but when you get to that YouTube channel, you will see a a tab. That says playlists. You will find a single playlist there that con that uh, contains four videos, and and I cover this every Saturday morning because I think it's important that you get the foundation. You know, what you start with is typically what you'll end up with, and if you start on a firm foundation in building your business, you will end up with a very strong long-term residual income in your business. You know, 
how you start out tends to be how you finish. And so uh, I encourage you to go to that playlist. You'll see four videos there. The first one is called uh, New Distributor Training. It's 30 minutes long. And what it is, it's, a, it's the, the Zija version, if you will, of the very first New Distributor Saturday morning training that I received the foundational elements of success in our business. You know, how to, uh, you know, how to build a network marketing business, what it is that we do and how we do it. And I encourage you, take 30 minutes and watch that video. You'll see three more little 10 minute videos following that and they would comprise, uh, you know, combined would be what I would call the fast start training. And you may wanna put this in your notes. The reason I make this point of, of watching all four is first on new distributor training, you wanna know what the fundamentals are, what it is we do and how we do it. Number two, those next three little videos, another 30 minutes if you will, um, they comprise the fast start training. And you should have this in your notes, it is actually easier to get off to a fast start than it is for a slow start, okay? If you're looking for the easiest path to success, it is actually easier to get off to a fast start than a slow start. Uh, oh, you want me to repeat it again? Okay, I put it in the chat box. Somebody's asking me to repeat the address. It's youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. So my name, Fred Holmes, H-O-L-M-E-S, and the word Zija, all one, you know, all together, uh, youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. Now, those three, um, uh, you know, videos, uh, 10 minutes each, you know, how to create your story, how to develop a prospect list, how to launch a 90-day game plan. These are all, you know, fundamental things that the most successful people in our profession already know. People like myself, when, when I started with Zija, and we're going back 10, almost 11 years ago now, coming up on my uh, 11th year anniversary, um, I did do well. Okay, uh, you should expect me to do well. I'd, I'd been involved in this uh, profession before. I'd spent 10 years, um, uh, two years with my first company, eight years with my second company. I retired. I retired in my mid-40s. Um, I did well. And so you should expect that I would do well again. The reason I did well with Zija wasn't because there was something special about me, but rather I understood a system and I, I brought to the table the ingredients of success. You may want to put this down in your notes kind of as a self-evaluation. The three most critical ingredients to success in our profession, and this really applies to anything. Number one, you got to have good work ethics. Don't expect to be highly successful if you're lazy, okay? That doesn't happen very often unless you're born into wealth. Then, you know, just by the fact that you, you know, you had the right gene pool, you're successful, okay? Expect that you are going to have to be, uh, you know, have good work ethics. Now, by that, I'm not saying expect you're going to have to put in 60, 80, 100 hours a week to your Zija business. Frankly, that's not actually, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think I know anybody that's a million dollar earner that consistently puts in, you know, 60, 80, 100 hours a week. Our business doesn't really work that way. Okay, when I say good work ethics, I'm talking about being able to do effective activities. We can, I mean, all you got to do is, uh, is about, <laughs> I hope this doesn't offend anybody, all you got to do is go to DMV and realize that, you know, you, being successful there doesn't mean you're effective, right? Uh, you know, shuffling papers, you know, uh, drawing up your new business card, that doesn't make you any money. Uh, Good work ethics means that you are doing effective work, that you're consistent about it, uh, that you, if you say you're going to show up, you show up. Those work ethics, those are what the issue is. Number two, you got to be willing to learn. You got to be coachable. Uh, while it is true that our business is relatively simple, what is also true is it really only works if you do it correctly. And that kind of applies to anything else, right? You know, if, um, if you're a brain surgeon 
you know, you don't just start out being a brain surgeon. You got to spend decades learning how to do it. Be coachable. Work with people who by their results have demonstrated they know what to do. And then follow their coaching. Don't be that person that decides you know better. Uh, I remember one time talking to somebody about, uh, you know, they, they started out sharing with me how they were going to build their Zija business. And, and the irony was not lost, okay? You're talking to, you know, the person was talking to me. I'm, I'm a multiple, you know, million dollar earner now in this industry. And somebody who had never achieved anywhere near that level of success was telling me how they were going to build a business. And I listened politely and I finally said, can I make a suggestion? He said, of course. How about we start out using the system that I already know works? And once we get you to $10,000 a month, maybe we can try something new. Okay. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, that person, uh, name will be, uh, will, won't be disclosed to protect the stupid, uh, but, uh, you know, they were not real successful because they weren't coachable. It wasn't that they didn't have, you know, good work ethics. They just weren't coachable to learn how to do what we do. As a truck driver, I would never attempt to be a brain surgeon, okay, because I didn't know how to be a brain surgeon. As a brain surgeon, I would never attempt to drive a truck until somebody showed me how to do it. Uh, I got Mike, Mike Crane has joined us, and some of you know Mike, he's a double diamond with the company. Him and his wife have built a, you know, a significant international organization. Uh, Mike gets this, you know, just because you can drive a car doesn't mean you can jump in an 18-wheeler and start slamming a four and five, you know? It's not gonna happen, all right? You got to learn. Third ingredient for success, burning desire to succeed and this is critical that's of the three ingredients you know good work at willing to work willing to learn burning desire to succeed of the three ingredients to success that third one is probably the most important and 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 the reason is if your reason why you need to be successful in zija is important enough it is going to create good work ethics it's going to create coachability. And most importantly, it will give you the persistence to stay engaged on a daily basis long enough. It takes time to create success in anything, okay? I don't care whether it's a job, a project you're working on, a skill you're trying to learn, whatever. It takes time to achieve high level success. And you have to be willing to give yourself the time. So today, what I want to do is talk specifically about a, a particular part of building your Zija business. And, and we can call that, you know, uh, new distributor orientation or onboarding of a new distributor. And for those of you that are, that are relatively new, maybe this is your first time involved in a, um, a network marketing uh, profession, be very clear on this. When you sponsor a new distributor, you're the sponsor, okay? You're the upline. It becomes your responsibility to provide the, the, the platform, the, the knowledge, the skill sets, and what have you, that are necessary for your new distributor to become successful. It's, a, it's just like being a parent, okay? When you have a child, guess what? Whether you, whether you like it or not, it becomes your responsibility to raise a child. Same thing in network marketing and when you become a sponsor for a new distributor. Now, that doesn't mean that, especially if you're brand new or just getting started, that doesn't mean that that all of the requirements of being a sponsor fall on your shoulders, okay? You can be the, the uh, you know, the guide, if you will, even if you're not you know, season enough, experience enough, or what have you, to be that person's sponsor. As a sponsor, it's still your responsibility to provide for them, and that can be done through others. And so I want to give you a few little things that will help you in that process, 
And then as we go through the balance of, of what I wanna share with you right now, uh, be writing down questions you might have, because I'm gonna open up the, uh, the chat box here, and I'm gonna do my very best to, to offer as many answers as possible to your individual questions. I, I've learned a long time ago that uh, you know, the, the quality of the training uh, that one might provide, that I might provide, is typically not all that great. <laughs> I'm just being honest, what ends up happening is that it's the question and answer session that can be the most valuable because it takes your you know, individual uh, questions, circumstances, situations, and allows me to apply what I've been sharing to your particular situation. So um, bringing a new person on board, especially if you're relatively new yourself, here's what I would do, okay? I would leverage the information that's already available. I would onboard a new distributor with this. First thing I do is say, you know, item number one, get your basic training underneath your belt. And I direct them, you know, direct them to wherever you feel, you know, that, that they're going to get the, the, the best initial fast start training. Uh, I encourage you to use mine. Okay. Not that I think mine's the greatest in the world, but it is what I was taught, it's what I used that allowed me to retire, you know, 20 years earlier than most fellows ever think about retiring. And it's the same training I used to build my Zija business with. And, um, and for those of you that aren't familiar with my story, I want you to understand, I do this part-time from home. This has always been a part-time business for me. I've built, you know, uh, um, you know, and, and when I say I've built, I'm not saying I, uh, I've had an incredible team of people that are very committed. They, they meet all the criteria, you know, good work ethics, you know, very coachable, burning desire to succeed. It's because of, uh, you know, the, the one thing that maybe I can say I was involved in was either inviting them to be part of this business or guiding them through the information that was necessary for them to achieve the levels of success that they desired. And so I'd encourage, you know, step one, get the basic training. You don't have to be the trainer. It's already on video. Uh, second step is the orientation. Once they've got the basic training, they will understand things like how to create a prospect list, how to develop their story, how to implement a 90 day game plan to launch their business. Then, once we've, we've got that initial training underneath their belt, uh, and I'm not saying do that first and this second, but new distributor orientation. New distributor orientation, oftentimes that happens before introducing them to the training. And it should be, you know, at the very beginning of a new distributor joining your business, the orientation. And I wanna break the orientation down into a couple of things. The first and the most important part of new distributor orientation is bringing your new distributor to the active engaged upline organization that you're part of that can help them build their business. Um, give you an example. When I launched my Zija business beginning of 2008, because I already knew what to do, this is what I did. I identified uh, you know, a small group of people that I wanted to build my business with, and I followed a simple system. I invited them to look at my new program. I shared a little bit of information with them, but I immediately plugged them in to a successful upline distributor. At the time, that was David Moses. That, that was my only upline. I mean, we were pretty small back then. I was sponsored by David Moses. And, you know, I guess it's kind of good being able to have David there. And uh, this was back in the early days. And, and, you know, getting a brand new distributor going, we were excited because we had one more. You know, <laughs> we got two now, right? Uh, three, me, David, and the new guy. So, um, uh, but I immediately turned him over to David. I plugged him in, I followed a little simple introduction protocol, and I let David share the story. Now, I want you to get this for a second. I was already a seven-figure earner in this profession, okay? I was already known within the network marketing community, yet I didn't do the deal. I let my upline do the deal. That's 
a really important point to recognize that whether you're extremely experienced in the industry or whether you're brand new, you still want to follow the same system. Let the upline do it. So what you want to do, and this would be point number one under new distributor orientation, is you want to arrange as many connection calls uh, as you can with your new distributor and your upline support team. Now, that could be your upline bronze, that could be your upline gold, that could be up your upline diamond. Um, but do that, make that introduction, make that the first you know, 24 or 48 hours, make that your goal to get your brand new distributor introduced to and connected to the upline. It's gonna do many things for you. It's going to uh, uh, you know, create an environment where the brand new person realizes there's a large number of people out there who have an interest in helping me succeed. Um, it's going to give your new distributor an opportunity to learn the stories of the upline, the successful upline. See, this is really important. This isn't a business of facts and figures. Quite frankly, this is a business of sharing stories. People will tell you, I want to know how to build the business. But that isn't what's going to get them in the business. That's not what's going to keep them in the business. That's not what's going to help them succeed at higher levels but rather the inspiration and the motivation from hearing the stories of other people's success. As many different diamond leaders as we have in Zija, there's that many different specific techniques and tactics for building a business because everybody does this a little bit differently, but the system is generic. It applies to all applications of your own individual techniques and situations and what have you. Uh, it's going to help your new distributors have a much bigger vision. See, this is, this is a real simple concept. If your vision is great enough, it will accelerate you towards your goals. If you don't have a very large business, uh, vision, it's going to be very difficult to move quickly, and it's going to be very difficult to see the end result. you got to see where you're going if you intend to get there. Now, how, you know, you as a brand new distributor, you might have just gotten started. Maybe you made, uh, you know, $100 your first week getting a few people signed up on the product. It's hard to see a full-time income, the vision of a, you know, uh, um, you know a $1,000 a week income or even a $1,000 a day income based upon your brand new distributor story. So introduce them to Upline that can give them a bigger vision. In the process of doing this, in that first 24 to 48 hours, introducing your brand new business builder to as many of the upline as is appropriate for their goals and desires. Uh, when you're doing that, you are teaching one of the most important skills, the three-way calling protocol, or uh, you know, the, the introduction or connection call protocol. And I'm going to share that with you right now because I want you to have that in your notes on um, what it is we do. Uh, I've heard so many times people say, well, I know I'm supposed to do uh, connection calls, but I don't know what to do. Okay, this is your connection call uh, protocol, if you will. And then we're going to use an example of, uh, you know, uh, you know, brand new distributor. And this works for your prospective distributor. It's the same process. You've got your upline and you've got yourself. When you get the three of you together, now this could be using the three-way calling feature on your phone. Uh, personally, I really like using video connection calls uh, because it's, it's, it's virtually like being face-to-face. -face. Uh, most of what I do today is done using this vehicle of um, you know, the, the Zoom meeting uh, platform, video platform. Uh, and I encourage you to engage in that. I encourage you to get comfortable using video conferences. Uh, I particularly like the Zoom program, that, uh, and you can get that information from uh, www.zoom.us. Zoom.us. It's not .com. Um, Zoom.us. Uh, the Zoom platform allows you to have your own Zoom account for free. I mean, you know, what's better than free? 
I don't know, they pay you to use it maybe. I, I suppose that might be better. Uh, but you have your own free Zoom account. Most of the people that are within my personal organization that are really moving forward at a rapid pace have embraced this concept of meeting with their team members, introducing their, their prospective new distributors or their brand new distributors to their upline using video conferencing. It's a very, very powerful tool. And so here would be the, the example, and this would work either on a three-way you know, phone call conversation or a video conference. You start out by taking your brand new person, let's say Mary Lou, and you introduce the upline. Now, when you introduce the upline, maybe you're gonna be introducing me to your prospect or to your new distributor. First step, edify the upline, okay? You need to establish that with your prospect, your new distributor, I'm introducing you to somebody who has the capacity to teach you how to be successful. And when you introduce the upline, use these three things. Make a reference to their rank. Could be, uh, you know, this is uh, my upline bronze distributor, uh, upline silver, upline gold, in my case, uh, upline, you know, uh, triple diamond, all right? The, the rank establishes in the mind of the new distributor or the prospect, this is somebody who has achieved. Now, the rank isn't gonna make any difference, so they won't understand what the difference is between a bronze and, and a, you know, a double diamond, okay? But what it does do is it establishes that you're, the upline you're doing, the, you're introducing, has already achieved a level of success. So, reference their rank. Number two, reference their results. Now, if you were introducing me, you might say, uh, this is Fred Holmes, he's a triple dime with the company, uh, one of the top income earners, uh, you know, multiple seven figure income earners. All that stuff's easy, okay? If you're introducing your upline bronze, you got to do the same thing. Could be something, maybe your upline builder 500. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, you know, Mary Lou. The, she's uh, already a builder 1000, uh, making a, you know, significant part time income just getting her business started. What is a significant part time income? Who knows? Okay. Who knows what a you know, significant relative to what? You know, if you're an upline, if your upline is a bronze, they've already made some money. But make a reference to their results. The third ingredient in introducing your upline is a real simple statement, okay? They're being a big help to me in building my business, okay? That third element of the introduction is critical because it establishes in the mind of the new distributor or the prospect, this is interchangeable, whether the person, the new person is a prospective distributor or whether they're a brand new distributor with you, it's the same process. Uh, it establishes in their mind that this is how we succeed. It's not based on their knowledge, their experience, their tenure in the industry, but rather it's based upon the support of the upline. So. Um, Mary Lou, let me introduce you to, to Billy Bob. Billy Bob is, is my upline goal. Um, he, he, he's already created uh, a, a significant part-time business or part-time income working uh, with Zija. And he's been an incredible help to me in learning and teaching me how to build a business. Simple, easy peasy. Three simple things to say. Now, how do you know what to say? Because you've already been engaged with your upline. They will help you in those little phrases. But be real clear, the introduction was those three points. It was short, it was sweet, and it was done in like 15 seconds. Now, the next step is to then turn and introduce the upline to the prospect or to the new distributor. And you're basically gonna do the same thing. You're gonna say, you know, and Fred, this is my new distributor, or this is, this is my friend I'm sharing the business with. This is Mary Lou, and then you want to say something about Mary Lou's success, okay? Something, you know, a little bit about their background, you know, their, you know, a truck driver, candle maker, you know, whatever, stay-at-home mom, an attorney, you know, construction worker, whatever. Establish a little bit of information on who the person is, 
establish a little bit of information on what they might be looking for, and then say something really nice about it. So uh, this is, uh, you know, Mary Lou. Uh, she's a stay-at-home mom with three kids. Uh, she does an incredible job working, you know, with her children. She volunteers in the community. Um, you know, something about her background something that might indicate their, 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 uh, what their reason for, for being here and something nice. Stay-at-home mom, looking for a way to create some additional income from home, and she's just a great parent and a great friend. You're edifying the prospect or the new distributor, but you're also giving your upline some clues on where to go with the conversation. Their background, their motivation to get involved in Zija, Okay, these will be helpful to the upline in carrying on the conversation. But again, edifying or, or you know, introducing the new distributor, the new prospect, um, 15, 20 seconds. It doesn't take long. Now, the third step is the handoff. And this is the part a lot of people have a problem with. You introduce your upline. I've got Fred Holmes, Triple Dime, one of the company's top income earners, and Fred. I've got Mary Lou, stay-at-home mom, looking for a way to create, you know, significant income from home so she doesn't have to go back to work, uh, you know, with, now that the, the third new baby's here. And just a really nice gal, knows a lot of people, and just very excited about our products. Here's the third step. It's the handoff. Okay, ready? Here it goes. Get ready for write this down. Mary Lou, this is Fred. Fred, this is Mary Lou. Just like that. That's the handoff. Most people get really stuck on what do I do now? Hand off the call, kind of like being at a cocktail party. Bob, let me introduce you to Mary. Mary, this is Bob. Bob, this is Mary. Done. Walk away, let them talk. Okay. And that's really what you need to do at that uh, when you do that third step to handoff. What your job is at that point in time is to, once you've handed off, you know, your new distributor or the prospect to your upline, hush up. Don't get involved back involved in the conversation. Keep quiet and take notes on what the upline's doing because you want to as quickly as possible be the upline for your new distributors and, and, and sharing your story with their prospects. That's how you build a business is when you're no longer being just the person doing the introductions, that you are actually the person that people in your team are introducing their prospects to. So, real simple three-way calling protocol, introduce the upline first, reference rank, reference results, and they're being a big help to me in the business. Cross-edify the, uh, the prospect, say something you know, uh, about their background, something about their desire, you know, what they might be looking for and say something nice about them. Hand off the call. Fred, this is Bob. Bob, this is Fred. Hush up and listen to what your upline does. And you're going to find that they're going to do the same thing over and over again. And for those of you that are engaged in doing, being the upline, doing the three-way calling, uh, I'll take a minute and I'll give you a couple points on that real quick. And then I'm going to open up for question and answer. As the upline, here's what you want to do. Establish some rapport with the prospect. Now, this is really easy when you're doing video conferencing because they can see you. They, you know, people communicate with feelings, not with words. We pick up all kinds of, of subtle, subliminal uh, um, information when we're face-to-face -face with people. You know, body language, facial expressions hand gestures and so on. Very difficult to, to use those levels of communication if it's on the phone. On the phone, we get one form of communication, it's audio, and worse than that, because we, we're losing all the other things, you know, body and, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, posture and so on. We're, we're losing all of that, facial expression. We lose all of it, all we've got is audio, and worse than that, Telephone audio is very low fidelity. Okay, I mean that's that's you know it's it's like one form of communication and it's not even very good of that form of communication. So uh, whenever you can use video conferencing, when you're on the phone, it's critical as the upline that you establish some level of rapport 
with the prospect or the new distributor. And you don't have to take years to do this. It could be something like, you know, you heard, uh, uh, you know, mention, you know, Mary Lou's from Michigan. Okay. And you happen to know they got a sore, you know, a little cold in Michigan today, you know, talk about the weather, something like that, you know, stay at home mom with three kids. Oh, great. How old are your kids? You know, three, six, and nine. Oh, what great ages. Lucky you. A little bit of rapport, what you're looking for is for the prospect of new distributors say, wow, you know, this person is a lot like me, okay? Establish a little bit of rapport, it, however that needs to be done, but don't take days to do it, get it done. Number two, ask them, what have they seen about Zija that's the most interesting to them? A lot of people ask the question, what do you like or, or what do you think how are you feeling about this honestly i don't care what they think about zj i don't care what they how they feel about it none of that makes any difference in my paycheck okay they could say well it doesn't seem like it's a real deal you know those things don't work you know uh, i believe you can get all the good nutrition you need from eating uh, you know the standard american diet sad standard american diet you know uh, um, the three basic food groups, McDonald's, uh, you know, Taco Bell and chicken, you know, Kentucky fried chicken. Yeah. Doesn't make any difference to me because quite frankly, I already know. I already know we got the greatest company. I already know we got the greatest products. I already know we got the, you know, the greatest field leadership, you know, the people of ZJ. So what I want to do is I want to ask a question in a format that's going to help me move the prospect forward in making a decision. What have you seen so far that lets me know what level of exposure they've had that you like the most? Because I'm getting them to focus on the benefits, the things that are going to be into. And, and I listen, be listening to what they say, because if somebody says, well, I've seen a lot of information about the company, but I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with the products. Guess what I'm going to start talking about? The products. Okay, because that's what's interesting to them. I'm gonna, thirdly, I'm gonna continue to ask questions. I'm gonna ask about, you know, uh, tell me what you do, tell me what your husband does, you know, wh why are you, you know, have you lived in that part of the country? I'm gonna keep asking questions because if I ask enough questions, the prospect or the new distributor will tell me what they need to hear, okay? It's, it's really interesting. Uh, so many times, because I've gotten really good at asking questions, okay, you know, which, which every child can do. I mean, if, for those of you got, you know, three, four, and five-year-olds, you know what I'm talking about. Why? 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 Why is the sky blue? Why is this? I remember when my son was, uh, was little, he used to do that. And I think he had fun doing it, you know. Well, why this? And I'd answer that question. And then he'd, you know, then, but why? But why? But why? And finally, I get to the point in time where I just go, because that's the way God wants it. And that was always kind of like the end of the conversation, you know, I, I could go through and share as much of I understood about whatever it is he was asking about. And when he started to get ridiculous, I just, because that's the way God wants it. And that kind of like stopped the process. So I got good at using that last line, a little trip to, uh, tip for you guys with, uh, with young kids. Um, ask enough questions and the person will tell you what they need to hear. Uh, it is almost commonplace that I will get off of a, like a video conference, a uh, connection call. And the, uh, the, the distributor that wanted me to share my story with the, with their prospect will get back on the phone with me and say, I'd never heard them say that. I never knew that was the real motivation for why they're looking at ZJ. And the reason is, is I was willing to ask enough questions. Fourth, final thing, lead the prospect or the new distributor to further action based upon what they've shared based upon the things that they're telling you give them direction now it could be well it sounds like you're ready to get started is there any reason we can't get your your order started now get you enrolled now get you in the genealogy now but that's typically not what happens on the very first connection it could be um Perhaps what I can do is, is help you get more information on this. 
if I could get you some samples of the product? Would that help you feel more comfortable getting involved? You know, find, you know, leading them to another step in the process, leading them to further action, get me, you know, I'd be, I'd like to plug you into the, uh, you know, the biz talks presentation that's coming up tonight or get you involved in the Saturday morning training, or maybe the health talks presentation, uh, to, you know, tomorrow night with Pat Anderson, lead them to further action. Cause if people are continuing to move forward, they will eventually get involved or eventually get active or eventually, uh, you know, achieve the results they're looking for. So some thoughts on onboarding, okay? Make new distributor orientation priority number one. Introduce them to the upline distributors that can be part of their support team. It's gonna help them, you know, learn a system, it's going to give them greater vision. It's going to establish this concept of it's a large team of people that are here to support them, not just one person, you. They're not going to be out there by themselves. And finally, it teaches them, by example, one of the most important tools in our business, which is three-way calling, connection calling, video conferencing, but teaches them the protocol. How you start out is typically how you will end up, okay? Get your people connected. So uh, with that, I, I apologize. I got a little bit longer than I really wanted to uh, this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and start checking out uh, the uh, chat box. And folks, I, I really encourage you right now, if you've got a question, now's the time to ask. Allow me to, to participate with you. Um, let's see here, good morning, good morning. Well, thank you, Sharita. That's very nice of you to say that. Oh, Sharita did the little the little emoji, uh, uh, you know, arm thing, and that's because she knows, you know, hey, look at me, man. I gotta tell you something here. Let's do this. Do this right. I look damn good for sixty-five, don't you think? Zija, yeah, that and that's actually part of my Zija story. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm actually at a point in my life where I've got shirts where the sleeves are are tight. Um, uh, I'm I'm down better than 35 pounds from where I was, uh, you know, over 10, almost 11 years ago when I joined CJ. And um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Very good. Terrific introduction protocol and upline validation training. Oh, well, thank you, Amy. Uh, by the way, I want to point something out here. Amy McKenzie, many of you know Amy McKenzie. I mean, she's well known throughout the, uh, the ZJ community. Her motivation, you know, as a single mom, uh, she had a, had a brilliant daughter. And I'm not, I'm not saying just smart. I'm not, I'm saying like, you know, like Sheldon Cooper genius smart, okay? That, that's her daughter. And, um, uh, you know, if it wasn't for Zija, uh, her daughter would have ended up going to a community college. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a community college, but this child needed to go to the highest level of um you know universities that were available and she actually um uh, went to what is it uh i think it's chicago i'm, I'm going to get the name of the university but it was a, a private university one of the most expensive schools in the country and it was the zija business for amy that made that possible now her daughter i believe is working on her 47th master's or phd degree um, you know, she's a brain surgeon and no, she's not a brain surgeon, but I mean, things that I've only heard of, you know, summa kuma laude, whatever. And now I'm really showing my ignorance. So I better just shut up. But the point I'm making here is that Amy got off to a fast start. I shared the stories with her. She decided to start with the largest package that we have. Uh, you know, our builder premium system today is called. She was in profit within 30 days because she learned this process. She set up her list. She followed the, uh, the three steps, invitation, presentation, validation. She put me on the phone because uh, back then we didn't do video conferencing. She did this uh, three-way calling protocol by the numbers boom 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 and within 30 days she had already 
been able to, to recoup all of her investment money uh, in starting her Zija business with the largest package, plus go a couple hundred dollars into, into profitability. And that story, the 30-day story, built her career. Amy McKenzie was without question one of the most coachable people I have ever worked with. And if you ask her why was she so coachable, she'll tell you. She couldn't afford to pay off the credit card unless she got all her money back right away. <laughs> so uh, apologies. Uh, Amy, I, I appreciate and I love you and I hope you don't think I was making fun of you. I followed the leader. Thank you, my dear. Let's see. Um, Dylan Axon, how or where can we learn to build a champion work ethic? Ah, oh, very, very good. How do you learn to build a champion work ethic? Um, you know, that's a good question. I'm certainly open to any suggestions that any of you might want to offer uh, Dylan. Uh, Dylan, uh, for me, it wasn't something I learned. It was something I observed. Okay, I was uh, I was raised by a single mom uh, all of my life. All I know, you know, all I can remember was that my mom always had a full time job and a part time job, and many times a year had a part time part time job. Okay, full time job was necessary for existence. A part time job was necessary just to be able to to have something beyond an existence. I mean. You know, and uh, you know, I was raised in the 50s and 60s. This is back when you know, uh, not only did women make less money than men, people said it out loud. Okay, and so my mom always had, you know, you know, she'd work during the the week, and on the weekends she'd have, you know, do the 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 night shift, uh, you know, the bar run at the restaurant, and uh, you know, she sold Tupperware, and and there was something else it was like, uh, you know, a little ink pen that you could do embroidery with. And she always picked up something else, like, you know, during Christmas time for Christmas presents in the summer to pay for, you know, vacation Bible school. Uh, I only know that. That was my exposure to life. My grandfather, uh, my grandfather uh, immigrated uh, uh, to, to America from Mexico, you know, in I think 2000, oh, 2000 1908, I think. Um, you know, he was a farm laborer in L.A. during the buildings and, uh, you know, in, in uh, you know, the early uh, 1900s, became disabled, um, came up to uh, to the Central Coast area, what we call it Southern California, a lot of people call it Central Coast, um, was, uh, you know, a Mexican farm worker, worked on uh, the uh, Limonera uh, uh, Ranch. Uh, he worked hard all his life. He worked hard all his life. He all net there was never nobody took vacations okay and so i don't know anything other than being a hard worker uh so i learned that that skill set if you will from uh you know the the mentorship of my grandfather okay one of the things i learned is there is no uh shame in the work that you do you know a janitor's work uh is just as meaningful as a professional white collars work, the shame is in not doing a good job. The shame is, you know, uh, one of the things I was taught very early on, be worth more than you're being paid. Okay, and, and I, I used to, you know, I, I remember one time here and driving down the road, listening to CB radio, hearing one driver say to another, hand, they don't pay me enough to think. And I'm thinking, well, that's why you're still driving a truck. And I'm driving down the road uh, at the time I had a Cadillac. Uh, and I'm driving a Cadillac, okay? Because if you only put in the effort sufficient to keep from getting fired, you're never going to succeed. Uh, but I'm quite sure that the others can um, uh, provide the, some resources for you. I wish, uh, Dylan, that's a great question. Okay, and as I come across things, I will be doing the best I can. But here's a couple of key things for you. Okay, you want great work ethics, not so much the you know the focus of being uh, a, a hard laborer. And there's nothing wrong with being a hard laborer. Okay, I, I love uh, you know uh, was the weekend before last. Um, uh, uh, Candace Smiley filled in for me. She did Saturday morning new, new distributor training. 
Uh, my yard boy uh, came in. Uh, I was excited because I got to work with him. I showed him what it's like to work. Okay. I mean, I kept that boy hopping because I was out there leading the way. You know, be the one, show up on time, be consistent. It's, this one will work for you, Dylan. It's like being in the gym. Do the deal every single day. It is more important to be consistent over a prolonged period of time than having a massive workout one day and not being in the gym for another week or two. Okay, it's more important to do one or two or three activities every day without fail consistently, no matter what, than it is to do a spectacular amount of effort in one day and then you know lay it off for you know a week or a month or whatever um thank you dylan and i'll see what i can do to come up with some additional uh, support tools for you what else folks we're winding down our time together this morning um any other questions anything that that i can provide support with and anything that you might want to hear on a future uh saturday morning training either myself amy mckenzie um, you know, Candace Smiley, we all take part, uh, partake in, in uh, these presentations. There'll be other people that'll be doing this as well. Um, we choose what it is our topics are going to be, but certainly we want to make sure this is, is valuable to each one of you. And so, you know, let, let me know. You can either do that here uh, right now or, or you can communicate later with me. Um, Maybe what I can do right now is just kind of share a couple of things for getting plugged in, all right? Uh, there are many leaders out there who have a lot of resources for you. Uh, certainly, if, um, um, you know, you have, if you're not part of, of, of this organization, and, and I think we're all part of the Vizige organization, seek out your upline diamonds. A lot of them have very important information for you. Uh, for those of you who want to plug into some of the resources I have, uh, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Fred Home Zija. Subscribe to the channel. You'll get notified every single time a new posting is, um, uh, takes place. Um, you can sign up for my team uh, email. Okay, Go to my website. It's fredhomes.com, um, www.fredhomes.com. Click on contact. Um, you'll be taken to the contact page. You'll see all my information is there. You can reach out to me directly if you'd like, you know, my, my home phone, my cell phone, my email address, you know, my favorite color, you know, I like long walks on the beach, uh, all that's there. Um, you'll see at the bottom of that page, a place where you can subscribe to my newsletter. That's just my team email list. Uh, go to Facebook, uh, you know, friend me on Facebook. It's, uh, you know, at Fred W. Holmes. Fred W. Holmes. Um, you can uh, like my business page, Fred Holmes Zija Business, at Fred Holmes Zija Business, and you'll be connected in. And uh, Mike Rain, likewise, dude, I think you rock too. All right. So um, at the top of the hour, folks, I hope this has uh, been beneficial to you. Uh, we are down to the, uh, the, the last 31 days of the year, and this is what separates the people that wanted to be diamond in 2019 from the one that will be diamonds in 2019. The last 31 days of the year can be the most productive for you because you are establishing momentum for the beginning of the year. Don't let the next 31 days pass you by. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and close things down. And uh, David, my pleasure. I hope you, uh, you found value in this morning. And I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Look forward to seeing you next Saturday morning. Take care. Bye-bye.